Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a first impression review on the new Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation. This is a new product that just came out. It is not the same as the Bare Pro Liquid foundation that is currently in their line. This is more based off of that powder foundation, the original Loose Mineral Foundation, SPF 15. Now this does have SPF 20, which is something you guys know if you follow me here on my channel. I really like it having my BB creams or liquid foundations. So I'm really excited to try this out. I was sent Light Beige 09 for the shade. I haven't tried it out yet. You can see I have not broken the seal yet, but I'm going to share with you guys kind of first impression on this, let you know kind of how it wears throughout the day. I am going to apply this with my fingers because that's kind of what I do on a quick, easy, everyday basis. And then if it does well for that, I will try it with a brush, beauty blender, things like that. But I am really excited for this. Now Bare Minerals does say it's cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, and chemical sunscreen free, which is amazing. There are 30 shades in this line, 11 shade intensities, and 3 undertones, which is really nice. It says it's a medium buildable foundation, and it's proven to refine and smooth the look of skin's texture instantly and over time. So we will try this baby out. I'm just going to shake this up a bit. Take this little tag off. It says twist to open. But I did receive this product for free through Influencer. It's just a free program where you fill out a whole bunch of surveys. And every now and then they will give you some product to try out. So that is pretty neat. So when you twist this thing, the pump comes right up and then you can twist it back down and the pump goes down. So I really like that packaging. I my One of my favorite foundations in the past and it is now discontinued was the Urban Decay and Naked Foundation. So I will probably kind of base this off of that. So it said for medium to do one pump, but so that is one pump. And now I'll just do, oh, now it does squirt out a long way. I literally just got it on my carpet. So that pump has a lot of power, just to warn you guys. And it's staining my carpet. So I will have to clean that. But let's just apply this all over. Now I'll be surprised if this like perfectly matches me. I feel like it's a little bit more orange than what I'm typically, or a little bit darker than what I typically do. So I'm just going to apply this with my fingers, kind of like I do BB cream. The shade match is not too bad for me. I'll definitely try a beauty blender next, but first impression I did want to just kind of do what I typically do. It looks pretty good. It's definitely more moussey. In texture than like the Urban Decay Naked skin that I used to like. I do really like the SPF in this. It does say it has a lot of good ingredients. I will go ahead and share with you guys a picture right here of the ingredients that are in this new product. So a lot of more natural ingredients which Bare Minerals I have found has a lot more natural ingredients. Now this is not super like liquidy. It's really easy to blend and put in the skin. Kind of almost has a, a liquid to powder effect on the skin, but definitely a medium coverage. A little bit thicker than like my Smashbox BB cream I use on a day daily basis. Personally for me, I don't think I need two pumps. I really only needed that one. It's really blendable. It's a good job with coverage in any redness. Now, one of the claims is it says it helps to reduce the look of pores and redness. I don't have quite too many pores. I have a couple right here. Let's see. Just dab it. I mean, it definitely helps like reduce the look. It doesn't fill them in though. And then I do think it helps with redness, but looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. But for like just taking a survey online, I think the color is pretty good for me. 
blend it out a little bit on the back of my neck. Now I do still want some kind of concealer underneath my eyes. What I've been using lately is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'll go ahead, apply that on the back of my hand and dab it underneath my eyes. I really do like the feeling of this foundation on my skin right now. Not too heavy, but it definitely has a nice coverage all over. Gives me a nice base, a little bit more of like a matte look than a dewy, shimmery look that I'm used to. But I do feel like I don't need a powder with this product right now. So I'm gonna apply some quick blush and I'll check back in with you. So I'll give you guys kind of a like close up look of what that foundation is looking like on my face. Overall, first impression, I do really enjoy it. I like the feeling of it. I like that I don't have to have an extra SPF on it. I don't know what the price range is for this. I know the Bare Pro foundation is $34. I did try the Bare Pro before in a little deluxe version, like a deluxe sample, and I did not like that. It was a little bit too cakey, too full coverage for me. This one is a nice like step down to that one. I have really liked their original like powder foundation. I know my mom really likes that one as well, but for me, loose powders are just not the thing for me. So this is definitely something I am more interested in. So I am excited to see kind of how this wears throughout the day. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit and let you know how this wears. But overall, I am really happy with how it applied at first. Real quick, I did want to say I just took before and after pictures of what it looked like with this foundation on. I will insert the before picture right here and after. And basically what I noticed is it does a really good job now of covering up those brown spots and random things on my face. I will say there's a little bit, I do have like some fine lines right here so they don't completely go away with this foundation, but I do really like the way it kind of makes my skin all look one kind of skin tone without all of those like sun damaged spots and stuff all over my face. So definitely something I noticed right off the bat with this foundation, so I'm really happy about that. I do also like that I don't have to use a powder with this. I feel like it's definitely gonna sit well on my face. No powder necessary, but I will keep you guys updated with that, but really, I'm happy with how it's looking right now. So I am back. It's been about seven and a half hours and I got a couple updates for you guys. So what I do want to say is it kind of has oxidated a little bit on my face. I think next time I'm going to try and use a primer. This first impression, I didn't use a primer or any powder or anything like that. Just kind of wanted to see how it looked on my face. I also noticing it's kind of clinging on to some of my pimple like dry spots kind of around my chin. I don't know how well you can see that. And then it also like kind of is just like oxidizing. I can see it just sitting on my skin, not really wearing that, like blending that well in to my face. But overall, I feel like it did do a lot of coverage on my face. It isn't anything super crazy cakey, isn't clinging to a lot of like my dry spots as much as just like right here. So I think next time I'm going to put on a primer, see how well it is. Overall, first impression, I really like it. I will continue to use this product to play with it a little bit more. I'm going to play with it over this next week using different primers and stuff. Be sure to look out for a full review of the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation coming soon. First impression, it's pretty good. I definitely have to play with it a little bit more. I don't hate it, but I'm not in love with it yet. I still really like using more lighter weight coverage foundations and BB creams like the Smashbox Camerati BB cream as well as the Tarte Maracuja. I do really like that it has sunscreen which is one of the downfalls to the Tarte Maracuja one. So I'll keep playing with this and letting you guys know but overall pretty good first impression. I would recommend a primer though under it. So I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted 
Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I